Hi, welcome back to Sharon's Hot Tip. So I have allowed these cups, which are silicone with resin, to dry just so I can show you how easy it is to pull out um, the dried resin. Uh, sometimes you can get a whole chunk out at the same time. Depends how thick it is. And you can also wipe it out when it's dry with one single paper towel and wipe it round and then just give it a rinse out with soapy water and dry and they're good to go. Because uh, even though I peel it with these, I turn them inside out. Whoop. And that helps me get rid of any tiny little bits. Now, sometimes I use an alcohol wipe. It depends how stubborn the stain is, but sometimes just applying this into soapy water with these tiny little bits, they will all come off. Um, some people leave a stick in the bottom because they believe for them, mine just broke off, so <laughs> they could normally pull that out. But that stuck in, but I can still get my resin out of here. So I would say sometimes you can use these little bits at the bottoms as well uh, for other pieces. But I'm not going to sit here and show you all of these, but I would definitely recommend you buying silicone cup. And depending on how busy you are or time poor is whether you are going to rub around when it's dry. You might want to reuse it again or whether you're going to peel it out like this and enjoy it. This part can take a little bit more work because you've got to be willing to get rid of all these fine little pieces, but soap and water is the way to go. Anyway, Sharon's hot tip. This will help you reduce your waste when working with fluid art and you can use it over and over again so it's cost effective for you as well. Anyway, I'll see you on the next Sharon's hot tip. Thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Have an amazing day. Thank you.